Hi, I'm Alex Goss from Zeus Technology. Um, I want to explain to you a bit about um, some of the high availability features um, that Zeus Traffic Manager offers. Um, there are two aspects to it. One aspect is the um, maintaining the availability of a service as a whole. And the other part of it is um, detecting and managing faults um, within the, the web infrastructure, so on your, your backend network or the, um, the network that's going to receive traffic ultimately after it passes through um, the traffic manager device. Now for front-end um, front fault tolerance or high availability, uh, basically what we do is we take measures to ensure that um, the IP address endpoints that uh, people will be um, using to access your services um, we take steps to make sure that those IP addresses um, are available all the time. Um, we do this through um, uh, a method of, of clustering. So within a group of traffic managers that you would deploy, um, those traffic managers will send out heartbeats and uh, will initiate uh, a failover for, um, for those HA IP addresses um, in the event that any of those cluster members fail. Uh, with the backend side of the um, side of the picture, what we do is we use through a series of um, health monitors and also um, passive monitoring, or some people call it inline monitoring, is detect faults of um, within the infrastructure, and we stop sending traffic to those machines. Um, just to show you what um, what that will look like in the user interface um, under services, I've got this. Um, concept of traffic IP groups. Now some people that have similar products in the industry call these um, virtual IP addresses. Um, we call them traffic IP addresses. Um, so basically what you do is you create a number of traffic IP addresses and then you apply those to virtual servers um, which are actually the, the things that listen for inbound traffic. Now on the back end we have this um, concept of a pool, which is a group of servers that all offer the same content or host the same service. Um, we support a variety of different protocols, um, web being one of the most common, of course. Um, and then what you do with this, um, with this pool is you apply health monitors to it. Now, the health monitor can be something as simple as a simple ICP, ICMP echo request or a ping, um, or you can do something a bit more complicated um, such as requesting a specific resource and performing a regex match against the response code or the response body. And depending on, you know, you can tune the number of failures in a row that are required to, um, to stop sending traffic to one of these web servers, um, how long it stays down for, and um, we will also ramp up the traffic once a node recovers. Um, so those are just, um, that just touches briefly on some of the HA uh, features that uh, the traffic manager and the load balancer products offer.